Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another depotting video with quite a few products that I'm super excited to depot, try to figure out how to depot, because some of these are actually pretty challenging and I might have to repress a couple of things. So before we jump into this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like these depotting videos. And if you have it and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So let's just go through the products I actually wanted to pot. The first thing is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. I love the shades in here. Absolutely hate the packaging so i am going to be depotting all the shades from this palette into a z palette next i really wanted to pot these wet and wild palette or contouring palette duos because my like dream shades is like the dark shade from this palette and the light shade from this palette so i really wanted to pot both of them and just use them together Next, I really wanted to pot this Milani Baked Bronzer, but you know, something I actually realized as I was doing some research into this, it's not actually in a pan. Like, it's literally just the product in here, and when I pulled it out, there's no pan. <laughs> so I actually kept the empty pan from my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm going to use that to hopefully try and repress or put in this Milani Baked Bronzer. I also want to really depot this Wet n Wild blush in the shade apricot in the middle i really like it but i also really hate this packaging and i've already like broken the hinge so it's just it needs to get depotted last but certainly not least i have one of my becca mini highlighters this is in the shade champagne dream flashes bellini and i know like there's a hole right down here so it should be easy but there's so much glue on the bottom of this highlighter that it's really hard to get out. So I'm gonna try to use the flat iron method to get this highlighter out, because I really wanna start using more of the highlighters in my collection, and I feel like when they're in their individual packaging, I don't reach for them as often unless it's like a holy grail highlighter of mine. So I really wanna see if I can get this one depotted successfully. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the first one I'm gonna try and depot is this Alien palette. Okay, so with this packaging, I feel like the first thing I need to do is like take off this top part. So I'm gonna handy dandy scissors. There we go. I might keep this for decoration, but it's finally gone from the palette. So with this, I'm gonna try and like lift up this cardboard to see if like what's actually holding these shadows down. Ooh, ooh, okay. So after struggling with this palette for a good 15 minutes, the best way to pull off the packaging is actually to start from this like bottom part and peel it off this way. This way you can actually see the plastic as to where the shades are being glued to. Jesus. So here we have the bottom, and I think from here I'm going to have to go and use the um, hot iron method because I've tried just pulling these top four out from the packaging, and there's not a whole lot of space in between the shades and the packaging, and they're all like really glued in there. Like I tried pulling them from like one side up, and this shade right here, Titan, totally broke. Like it's like half gone right now. I tried doing it from all four corners and it, it's just not working. So I'm gonna have to save this one for when we go to the hot iron because now that I actually have this part exposed, we should be able to just put it on the heat and get these to pop out fairly easily. The only other thing I think I'll be able to do without the hot iron is this wet and wild blush since this is already broken off. So let me see if I can just get this to come out without too much hassle damn it oh 
Oh. Oh, so finally. So that actually came out. I chipped the bottom right down here just because I wasn't too careful. The back is definitely really sticky still, so I'll have to go in with some acetone just to get rid of that stickiness, but this actually was really easy to depot, thankfully. Feeding me a lies real slow oh, oh. Poison like a black widow oh, oh. All you are is harmless smoke oh, oh. Casting shadows on the floor Now waiting for the stars to align Breaking down the castles in my mind I'm going to the top this time Going to the top this time You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going to show you where I am with the stupid alien palette. This is literally the hardest thing to depot. It's the most annoying packaging I have ever seen. I'm using the flat iron as heat, and even then, all the shades are crumbling. I lost half of the purple shade. All of these have an incredible amount of glue on the bottom of them, so even though I depotted them, half of them are like stuck to the Z palette now. I lost half of this beige shade, I lost half of the purple shade, and these ones I'm gonna give up on. I really wanted to keep the black shade, but look at it. It just, it, it exploded. It exploded, same with the purple shade, it just exploded. I cannot believe that a palette with packaging this annoying would also be this incredibly annoying to depot. Three days later. Okay guys, so. It's a couple of days after the last clip that you just saw because I needed some time to cool down. Depotting this Alien palette was so dang difficult. <laughs> way more difficult than it ever really needed to be, so I needed some time to just step away and cool down. Like you saw in the clip, even with heat, these did not want to come out and they still have a lot of glue on them, but I threw them in this palette and I left them because I needed sometime. <laughs> so um, the purple is pretty much destroyed. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I'm probably going to declutter that one. Same with this like cream shade up here on the top. More than half of the shade popped out. So I'm probably going to declutter both of those but keep the rest of the shades. What I need to do is actually clean the bottom of each one of these pans and then clean out the actual Z palette because it destroyed it. But once I clean off all the pans and then rearrange them back in here, I'll just throw up a picture of what it looks like neat, clean, and completed. But um, honestly, I don't know if it was more annoying having this in the original packaging or depotting this. I know I'll probably get a hell of a lot more use out of it now that it's depotted. But be warned, it was a, it was a process. It was a heck of a process and now like I had to rip everything apart and uh, I'm just done with this palette. <laughs> I am done with the packaging and it's going in the garbage. Thankfully, a lot of the other depotting actually went really well. So the highlighter that I depotted, this highlighter right here, actually came out really nicely. I did just gouge out a little bit of it right here, but that was me being impatient. If I had left this on the heat for just a little bit longer, it would have come out just fine. So you do need to use heat because you see that big glob of glue right there. That's preventing it from coming up if you just use that little hole in the middle and like a paper clip. So you really do need to apply heat to these. I got the sticker off just fine on the back so I do have it's not the cleanest thing in the world so it's not the cleanest thing in the world I am going to clean it up a little bit more 
but I did get the sticker from the highlighter onto the back of the pan which I wasn't really able to do for the Wet n Wild blush. This is the Apricot in the middle. And this one came out, again, fairly simply. I just gouged out that side right there because I wasn't really paying attention and I was rushing. But the blush did come out in one piece and it is magnetic, which I'm grateful for because at first I thought it wasn't going to stay in the pan. So again, I will clean off the bottom of that pan and I'll probably make my own label for it and actually write in the back Apricot in the middle. The last problem that I ran into was actually with the Milani bronzer. So fun fact, if you actually like open up this bronzer and it comes up really easily. Oh, and just watch me make a mess. So fun fact, this comes up super easily if you're actually paying attention. So pops up right here. The next fun fact is that this doesn't actually have a pan. <laughs> This is all just bronzer. They literally glued the actual literal bronzer to the packaging. It, like it's what? Like I wonder how it is once you actually hit that bottom part. So basically what I did was just press it into this empty pan that I had. This was the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula and I mean it seems like it's stuck in there. It's probably not the most secure of things but it's there for now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop that into, can you fit? So yeah, it's staying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop that into this and see how it holds up. But yeah, fun fact, if you use any of the Milani baked products, apparently they don't actually have pans. So we'll see how that looks once I actually hit the bottom of the product. And I was able to get the sticker off of the Milani product, but it's not sticking, so I'm going to have to go in separately with some glue just to get that to stick. So thanks to Movie Magic, I can go ahead and pop up a picture here of what these palettes look like completely clean and finished and depotted. This was a journey. It was definitely a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But I hope you guys learn a little bit from this, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> and let me know down below if you want to see any more depotting videos because I do have a couple more. Oh, I didn't even look at the Wet n Wild. So I totally forgot to show you guys the Wet n Wild palettes that I depotted. They're both right here. So I have the light shade from their lighter palette. And then I took the bronzing slash contouring shade from their darker palette. With these though, they're not a hundred, they're not actually magnetic. The only thing holding them down right now is the glue from their palette. So what I have to go in with are like these little magnets. I have to add a couple of them to both of these halves to get them to actually be magnetic because they don't actually stay. So keep that in mind. While the Wet n Wild like blushes and highlights are magnetic, these contouring palettes are not. So you will need magnets to get these to stay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video. You'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.